On TV, online, and on-site kick. I don't even know what that is. This is EPT Not Live. Not for long, it's not. Hello, my babies, and welcome to EPT Not Live. I'm Uncle Daddy Joe Stapleton. That is my work wife, and I am a bad work husband because I was not at her bedside yesterday when she was at the hospital. I'm sitting here thinking I look like a member of the cast of Train Spotting, but these were actually for blood tests and nothing else. They didn't put anything fun in there while you were there? <laughs> Sadly not. They just took stuff out. <laughs> wow. Which fortunately is clear, so I'm back at work today. They took his kidney out, and it is clear they will be putting it back later <laughs> today also. I didn't, sit, I didn't address my work wife by name. That's James Hardigan. Thank you, Joey. My work wife, my work abusive stepdad, Matt Broughton is here. You guys, um, let's do something more festive here. Let's kill this. Let's do one of these here, huh? That's better. Well, you are wearing the Eat Santa hat. It's not so. Eat Santa. Fat Santa? Say, Fat Santa would be accurate, but no, it's say? just Text Santa. Oh. I don't know if we have it there. I don't, don't, Which out of the options makes the I don't, least sense? You know, it's it's like one of those things that's like funny. At, it's like a joke, and then when you think about it, you're like, it's not... What, what does no it even number. mean? What, how am I meant to text him? Yeah, it should say Tinder Santa, I think, would probably uh, be The thing is, we're accurate. used to looking at Joe and going, I mean, it's probably a joke, but it's not funny. So actually, for you to be wearing it, it's just Bing. pretty much yeah, I don't, standard. There we go. Coming up on today's show, this is the last episode of the show in its current form. Yep. Uh, last episode of the show until the Poker Stars Championship Bahamas in 2017. So we're going to have a few weeks off. We will be revealing the new title of the show at the end of this episode. What else coming up on today's show? James witnessed an incident at the breakfast <laughs> buffet here at the Hilton Prague. It's, uh, it may explain some of the other stuff that's been going on this week. In oh, man. Sounds like somebody puked in the eggs. All right. Also coming up, Matt <laughs> finally got to see the Christmas markets here in Prague. It was a beautiful thing. I mean, 50% of it was shut and the other 50% was shutting. But we were there. But we, we did make you it saw to, the where, tree to where it happens. I think, not being funny, a good 50% of the Christmas market is the tree. Okay, well, in that case, it was mostly open. I do have a very blurry still frame of the tree coming up later in the Yay! show. Um, we're closing the show with a tribute to... Uh, one of the all-time leading cashers on the EPD, Luca Pagano, was supposed to be the guest. James got sick yesterday, couldn't do the show. We lost him, unfortunately. Uh, we are not recapping the Barcelona main event that aired this week because we've been over it plenty. But today on Superfan vs. Stapes, we've got Graphical Hugh on the show who will be challenging me to the films of Tom Hanks. Uh, you know what I say. If you don't like Hugh, I don't like you. And where do we stand on Tom Hanks? Uh, I love Tom Hanks. What uh, Do you guys have a favorite Tom Hanks movie? Um, we were talking about this the other day, actually, because I was not a fan of Tom Hanks movies until, like, the early 2000s, when I think he started to take bolder decisions in the films he was oh, making. Jesus. I'm so sorry I asked. Road to Perdition. There you go. Quick wow, answer. Road to Perdition. That yeah. was... Uh, no, don't start the song again. <laughs> who, who's, who wants to... We're, we've had enough. <laughs> enough Christmas. I was spirit. enjoying it. Road to Perdition. Isn't that one where he's, like, real sickly? No. No. The Road to Perdition's one where he's the gangster. Jude Law is real sickly in it. And you got Paul, yeah, and you got Paul Newman, I thought you were thinking Daniel of Craig. <laughs> That's true. Real sickly on that one. Uh, uh, that is one of the worst choices I've ever heard of a favorite Tom Hanks film. Matt? Big. Big. Okay, that's good. Oh, you know what? I have a Tom Hanks impression I'm going to do later in the show. And he, oh, okay. it's from, uh, we from can Big. Hardly White. I, uh, look, I, oh, well then. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just won't prepare fun things to do for the show. Uh, I don't know if I could pick a favorite necessarily, but I, I saw Bachelor Party last year for the first time. Like a friend bought it for me, like on old school DVD. Can't believe I just said that. Can't believe I just said old school DVD. Hey, anyway, future moves. I really liked it. I thought it was awesome. I, th I like the Tom Hanks comedies better. Not to say that he's uh, not great at the drama, but I like the, the comedy stuff like Big and all that. I will say least favorite Tom Hanks role. Mm -hmm. Catch me if you can. Oh, I like that. That awful. No, the movie's great. His stupid ass Boston accent though is terrible. <laughs> yeah, don't forget that sort of thing doesn't bother us because all accents sound funny when they're from America. So oh, okay. You know. Fair enough. James, what's going on with this? What, what happened at breakfast? Okay, so like James like emailed me like a week ago to be like, oh, make sure you tell the I'm breakfast really, story. I'm really worried about this because if this turns out to be a story that I really could have been told privately like four days ago, I'm going to be quite annoyed. Yeah, <laughs> it is one of those things where I saved it for the podcast, but in reality, it probably would have... Oh, we're building it up too much. Better served Wonderful. as a PSA. At the breakfast buffet, 
Um, there was a guy, I guess it's best to just be described as a character, and he's one of those people who clearly wants Russian. attention. I don't know what nationality <laughs> he was. Um, he had a beard, big kind of Sam Grafton-esque glasses, and bright red shoes. And he's standing kind of in the middle so of the buffet. Like Santa Claus. Just kind of trying to get sort of a, attention, just wanting to be noticed. And then, you know like where the, the kind of the bread rolls at breakfast, and they're kind of in a, in a box at a 45 degree angle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's standing over by the pastries and the rolls. And then suddenly just starts coughing violently oh. for about 30 seconds. Like, really like... So he wasn't getting enough attention. So he was like, oh, look at me. Yeah. <laughs> coughing firmly into his right hand. Oh. At which point... No. At which point, as part of his dramatic coughing, his elbow caught the box of bread rolls. Oh, okay. And I'd say a good 10 to 15 bread rolls then scattered onto the floor. At which point... With the hand, no doubt, oh. in his phlegm, he picked them up one by one and put them back into the No f way. But, Why? But do you know what the worst part was? He had this really kind of sh eating grin as he was doing it. <laughs> kind of like, look at me putting the rolls back. Almost in a really like creepy horror movie-esque way. And then went about his business, and I haven't seen him since. So my what theory is... you do, James, as an onlooker in this situation? You can't just stand idly by and let... He went, good Lord, I shall make a note of that story to He's tell like, later on. Good thing Ding. there's another box of rolls at the other end of the buffet. Boop, 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 boop. Exactly. I looked after number one. That's the most important thing here. But I do Meanwhile, think... the rest of us are now I, looking after you know number two because we all have this sh yeah. This guy coughing all over the rolls. I do believe, and I didn't realize this several days ago, I identified patient zero. This is the guy who I believe has led to the sickness that has hit poker players, dealers, and members of the uh, production you team. You just know the that somewhere the there's the CCTV footage from the lobby <laughs> that shows Hartigan like a big goose wander off to get his lovely uncontaminated bagels. And then in I come, I'll have that one, <laughs> that one, you come in. Oh, I just had this one. And everyone we know just picking up the snot bagels going, mmm, And then the, coating. <laughs> the overnight CCTV footage of the guy in the hazmat suit taking the, the <laughs> furnace to f burn them. Uh, man, James, I can't believe you didn't do Th anything. Thanks for telling us. Sorry, then. I probably should have done. I just didn't really think that it would lead to the spate of sickness that we've seen. I got James to do something this week that he that sometimes I have to twist his arm to do. What'll happen is now we get um a lot of times people on location. Your dirty mind. Look at your face. I think what I normally have to force James to do, he did voluntarily for the first time ever. That's right. <laughs> um, <laughs> we get, you know, a lot of times in between events, people will, will write to me on Facebook or Twitter and say, hey, I'm going to be at this event. Do you and James have a minute to meet up, whatever? And James is always like, oh. But then when it comes time to meet up, I'm like, I want to meet up with this guy. James is like, oh, I'll go with you. Like, he just, I don't know what it is, if he just has a heart or at the last second he, like, can't bear the fact that, like, He's like, all right, I'll go do it. So he he met this guy with me, uh, Chris Martin. Yeah. And Chris is actually in the army, and Chris gave me this really cool um, card capper uh, from the army, from his. Uh, He's based in Japan, right? Yeah, but uh, this is from the 31st Air Defense Artillery. It's okay. Our, our camera guy's texting right now. We'll just give him a minute to. Uh, <laughs> He's really on to, the. To uh, get up and it? get an insert shot of this. There he is. All right. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Fantastic. I hope that was your wife. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so uh, thank you, Chris Martin, for this. Really cool. Thank you for your service. I uh, obviously am a big fan of uh, all the vets. And it reminded me that I carry this other, I don't have it with me, uh, this other, nope, I don't, um, card capper with me. So first of all, the fact that you actually have a card protector, you do realize that most people think that is the sign of a huge fish. Well, I am a huge fish. And also, I, I play poker like twice a year. And when I do, I forget that I even have it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so, and I wish that I, I, luckily I did remember I had it because, uh, so I was going through airport security and you know, when you're back at Heathrow and your bag comes through and it's supposed to come down the belt, but yeah. then there's that like little machine that pushes, pushes it, it off to the side. And then it's like, whose bag is this? Yes. And I saw mine get pushed off to the side and I was like, oh my God, because look, I come from a place where there are certain things that are legal that are not legal in other parts of the world. And so I was like, oh, man, what did I do? What's what's in my bag right now? And uh, it comes down, and the, the woman grabs it, and she's like, um, do you have uh, something with your initials on it in here? And I'm like, what? what, what? Uh, and I remember that this fan gave me a card capper years ago for because I used to do a show called Poker Road Radio. So it's this PRR on it, this big metal card capper. And she's like, it's too thick. We can't see through it. 
And so I was like, oh, okay. Uh, and so I took it out of my bag, and she looked at it, but then she swabbed it and put it in the thing. And then there's that few seconds of like, because honestly, look, do, do, exactly. Do, like I'm not, ching, I'm, ching, I'm not ching. a terrorist. Ching. But, like, the way we live in the world, like, if something came up, like, that would probably be the last you ever saw of me. Like, there's no trials anymore. There's no more, like, hey, it's probably an innocent mistake. It's, I was just deal, I was just planting some crops. And the awful fertilizer. thing is, if they did kind of, like, arrest you at the airport and you were kind of, like, detained or taken on a rendition flight somewhere and we learned that, you know, yeah, they've, they've taken Joe away because they suspect he's a terrorist, we kind of just look at each other and go, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Story checks out. Seems Great. It's right. very, very holiday spirit of you guys. <laughs> Matt, well, you got to see the Christmas markets finally here. It took me a couple years. It was like my third time here before I finally did it. I didn't feel so bad because it was a fair schlep. And like I, fu- I started off feeling a bit stupid because we were walking down familiar territory like Rose. I'm thinking, well, I've definitely, I've definitely been down this road trying to find it. Oh, my God, I must have been so close. And then we went through this, and then we went around here, and then we. And I'm like, do you know, I don't think I ever would have found it accidentally. You probably took some turns because it's actually pretty much just a straight shot from here, but you have to walk for about 20 minutes before you get there. Yeah, it's not. I wouldn't say I felt stupid that it was so obvious that I was definitely should have found it at some point. We got but a little, anyway. little video clip here of what it's like. I don't want to give away too much, and also it's only a 10 second Snapchat. Hot, hot wine, hot ham hot dogs, and a big old Christmas tree. Look at that, huh? Beautiful aspect ratio, beautiful Yeah, is that, focus. Is, is it because it's a Snapchat thing that you're shooting in the wrong aspect ratio? Yeah, Snapchat only goes oh, that way. God, it drives me nuts. Yeah, we'll get used I to it because all the kids are doing it, my friend. Well, they need to be told. We need to re-educate them. See, this is the James I know and love when we were standing in this Christmas market. James is like, now this is the world I want to be a part of. I want to live in a Europe like this, where everyone's just coming together. And I was like, as long as they shoot video in the correct you're, aspect you're ratio. Full of sh- you I hate think everyone. That is a perfectly acceptable <laughs> caveat. <laughs> <laughs> but on the way back from the Christmas market, we did. Uh, we walked by this really terrible <laughs> wax museum. Uh, like, yeah. You just, you just want it. Look, I'm sorry. It's an Eastern European wax museum. What do you expect? Um, <laughs> I mean, this guy was probably that's constructed d- during the Cold War. <laughs> Who? I mean, that is probably one of the better wax works. No, that's, yeah. a, that's the, one of the best ones we saw there. That's a, I like to call him George Clowney. <laughs> I mean, at least you can identify who that is. The next one, I di- I didn't. You got it immediately, Matt. I I struggled. Well, what I found with them is that if you look at them overall, you don't know. But if you just focus very briefly on each feature one of them they've got right so it might be oh well they they There's got feature, they got yeah. one of Clooney's eyes right and then once you think <laughs> it might be Clooney you go ah okay so actually yeah this one I got to quite quickly but uh, again I had to do the whole mind So who is it? Well it's Cameron Diaz, Cameron Diaz I think Diaz. but it's I... also Cameron Madon Diaz. There's a little <laughs> Madonna in there too. These are two of the good ones. I well, we had an argument about this one because some people said Celine Dion. I said Sally Field I think it's Ariana Huffington. But clearly it's a singer because the microphone surely has to be a yeah, clue. Yeah, it's got to be some, you know, Czech singer that we don't know. It's a local celebrity. And apparently this wax museum is a, is a big uh, attraction here in Prague because here's one of my Tinder matches with Jackie Chan. <laughs> Look at that, huh? That's a way to make the boys jealous. Oh, dear. Huh? I don't yeah. care how handsome you are. If your personality is ugly, you are ugly. Sounds like a really good match for you. <laughs> right? so I would, uh, I would tick yes or Pretty whatever you good. do. Yeah, no, we're uh, getting married later this month. <laughs> um, so Matt did some digging on some other terrible wax figures, <laughs> and uh, we've got some to share with you guys here. Uh, here he is. I th- assume Matt Broutenegger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is what happens <laughs> if you're not entirely sure if you're looking at me without a beard or Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's it's eerie. That's meant to be Schwarzenegger. It's like they. It's horrible. I, I guess so. It's like they took one of those uh, things from a museum where, like, the evolution of man, and took one of the earlier <laughs> phases, and then strapped a Hawaiian shirt on him. Who's up next? We've got uh, Impostor Stallone. <laughs> I mean, I don't remember him looking like that. Well, he ever. did. Rocky did train in Philadelphia, right? <laughs> so it's maybe the Philadelphia. Version of Rocky never made it to the to the cinemas. Yeah, and here we have a mashup between I what I assume is Sylvester Stallone and Talia Shire, their kid. Well, clearly the England football. Oh, shirt I is see. Meant to be a I clue. Who I don't is that Lineker? I believe. I think. No. I think it's meant to be. Well, I can't imagine who else it's meant to be. But why he's wearing so much rouge? 
I don't I don't entirely understand. I don't remember I don't remember Gary Lineker wearing as much makeup as that on pitch, but maybe <laughs> there was one friendly I missed where he went to town. Next we've got um, <laughs> ventriloquist dummy Mr. Bean. I mean, he's not a good looking guy in real life, but that is just if that's that the stuff terrifying. That is the that thing is of like, nightmares. That is like the thing from Saw. <laughs> yeah, that is almost jigsaw right there. Uh next we've got Roger Moore question mark. Oh, that's Sean Connery. Now that I look closer, what? right? Isn't that supposed to, isn't that Sean Connery? Uh, Muhammad it's your, Ali. It's what? your favorite. It's he's been on holiday. What's the turn about? I don't know. Was there a film? Well, no, actually, let me not ask that question. There could be a 20-minute answer. Yeah. Is, there not a tan, is there not a tanned Bond? He's pretty uh, tan in the one where he's at the old folks' home. <laughs> What's the one where he's really kind of quite podgy? Hasn't he got yeah, tan there? Didn't that, he like, all, do, like never, all of them? Never oh. say never again. <laughs> yeah, anyway, not really sure on this one. Here we go. Now we've got Elton John. This isn't terrible. That's not that bad. I mean, the extreme close-up is very disturbing, yes. but it's not bad. But uh, this one is... <laughs> Healthy John, sick John. I mean, this is this is like your Aunt Edna. That is Sam Grafton on Stars in Their Eyes. <laughs> Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Elton John. It's almost like it's some other... It's like somebody was commissioned to do a wax work of somebody else, and it was so successful. They said, well, look, just put the glasses in the wig <laughs> yes. on. Do you know what? It's fine. Let's use it. We'll just do it. Kind of like stuff for this podcast. I'm like, you know what? It doesn't work. We're just going to use it anyway. We need, <laughs> we need to fill the space. Uh, <laughs> uh, Whitney Houston, Michael Jackson mashup. The greatest love of Beat It. <laughs> that is pretty, pretty bad. Uh, we got a couple more here. We're going to close out this segment momentarily. Uh, Kira Knightley in a hospital bed? <laughs> Why is it just a head, Matt? I don't know. I didn't make it. I just found is it, it on the Is internet. it a waxwork museum where they just couldn't be asked to do the bodies? It's just like, just put the heads out. That's all people look at. <laughs> um, I'm going to take a part. The head is all I need. Is that meant to be Princess Diana? Yes, it is meant After to be. After the accident? <laughs> oh, God. Boop. Bleep. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's been a forever. It's been like 25 years. Come on. <laughs> F*** over it. How about this one here? Uh, Matt Damon and Matt Damon from Team America World Police. I'm not, what's happening? In, oh, wait, no, I get it now. That's David Beckman and uh, Victoria <laughs> Beckman. Beckman. I certainly wouldn't have got Victoria. If it hadn't been for the fact David looks a bit like David, there's no way I would have found out who she was. Posh See, so you need the Beckman voice. Beckham. Whatever. Uh, wait, two more here. Oh, God. Uh, this, I, this is Uma Thurman. I, no. Who's that? That's Sharon Stone. That's with Sharon Stone. <laughs> Even your pun is based on the wrong. No, I don't person. know who. I have no. What? <laughs> it's terrible. It's really bad. It's, it's awful. <laughs> it awful. Is. Why is she in a pink bed? Yeah, I don't that, know. It doesn't she even... appear. Hey, look. All I can tell you is what it said under Google Image. Is it said Sharon Stone <laughs> waxwork? I mean, I'm with you. It looks more like some friends of my mum <laughs> that, that confused me as a child. And, okay, and just one more here that I have no no clue about. <laughs> I, what is this? Janet Reno meets Harry Potter, uh, <laughs> Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It looks like someone now, is wearing someone else's face. I'm going to, again, take a guess, and this is quite appropriate because this is a man who always releases a single at Christmas. It's Cliff Richard. Sir Cliff Richard. Sorry, Sir Cliff. Is have you heard of him? Cliff Richards, huh? Never heard Richard. of him. Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know who that is. What's what's he famous for? Mistletoe Wine. He has had number one hit singles in the 1950s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and 2000s. Wow. Living Doll, Summer Holiday. There's a Living Doll right there. Devil Woman. Cliff Richard. Wired everybody. for Sound. I could go on. Apparently, I right, have a lot of please trivia. Don't. Please we got, don't. We got we to gotta reset this entire segment because uh, I'm going to go have nightmares now. <laughs> 